Macham, bro. Macham. So the other time I went to South Korea with my wife for our honeymoon. I did not take a lot of clips during our honeymoon because it's a honeymoon lah bro but of course I put some insta story where you can see but I'm gonna share it here in this video also you know and also this video is actually about the budget of our honeymoon how much we spent at Korea and what we did so that you guys those who want to go to Korea Anyang Hasayo you can also see how much the price range and all okay at least not so expensive lah bro can be cheaper okay we spent 4.2k for everything everything Okay, this is what we spend on. I'm gonna put the price list somewhere around here. We spend on flight and guest house for 2254. We went on 4th to 11 March. We stayed at K Guest House, but they changed the name. They changed it to Day 7. And then we put aside money for food, 430. We put transport money, bus and MRT. We put aside about 120. Shopping was 500 per person, so total 1K. But we overspent. We bought Lush. Activities, we put 160. Sick. Activities I mean going on tours and also theme park. Lastly, the Wi-Fi. It's about 21 sing dollars. We had excess money, but we used that excess money, you know, to buy food and so on. Okay. So come, I'm gonna share with you what we did over there for about seven days, eight days, seven days, eight days, seven nights. Okay. On the first day, we did nothing. So basically go there later, bro. Okay. On our first day, because we stayed at Myeondong, and my main idea is to always stay at Myeondong so that shopping is the last thing on our mind because you can just go to Myeondong and just shop for shoes, clothes, it's there. We had dinner at Malaysia Kampung Ku Cuisine whereby we had Tom Yum, Nasi Goreng. Now on to the second day. The second day we went to Seoul Tower. The same day we went to Seoul Tower, we actually went to Stationery Street. Over there, you have a lot of different stationeries and also a lot of toys. If you want to buy a lot of toys, you can go there. On the third day, we went to Lotte World. So Lotte World is basically a theme park that is indoor but they also have the outdoor. The outdoor very cold. That time it was about 10 degree like that. Okay, day 4 we went to Nami Island and Petit France.
day five, we went to Insadong. Okay, over there is the place where me and my wife wore our hanbok. We ran, we ran the hanbok. We went to the palace. You know, we look like those palace era type. We enjoy ourselves, you know, looking like a king and a queen, the Leipak king, the Leipak queen. And also, if I remember correctly, when we already ran the hanbok, you can go in the palace at Insadong for free. And also go in there and just take a lot of pictures. We enjoy going there. Day five, we went to Hongdae and Ihua. Basically, Hongdae is like boogies. Ihua is like a girl boogies. And also, just shop. Shop and shop till you drop. Day six and day seven was our free day. So basically, we went to Myeongdong shop. We bought street food. We bought seafood. We shop and shop. Like I said, we shop Lush. We overspent on Lush. I'm gonna make a Lush haul with my wife for the next video. So stay tuned for that. And day eight, we went home. That's it. The thing is, every year, thankfully, I managed to go to Korea. And hopefully, at the end of the year, I'm going to go there again. And you might be wondering what we ate over there. Okay, we ate miso soup, pancake, miso soup, waffle, seafood, miso soup. I remember going to the halal food store, the halal kitchen, I think, and miso soup. Yeah, I came out eating the miso soup at Busanji. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Okay, actually, that's about it. Oh, oh well, that's about it. That's, that was my honeymoon. I didn't take a lot of clips because it's a honeymoon, bro. Spend it with your loved one, la, bro. Don't take video, take picture, all that. I mean, I took a lot, la, but not so much. <laughs> Machambai!